How's your father? Much better. Oh, thanks. He'll be fine for the party, thank God. Well, that's good. Oh. What party? 75th birthday. You know, the surprise party we talked about last summer. Oh, yeah, that's coming up? Yeah, next Saturday. Oh. But actually, that's why I wanted to come by. Because I think maybe it would be best, be easier, anyway, for both of us, if, uh, if I went at it alone and not have you there. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, my, my father would love to have you there. You know, he's crazy about your sausages and all the rest of it. But I thought, uh, you know, why put us in, and people in an uncomfortable situation? Well, I decided right away when we broke up I wasn't coming. Really? I'm so glad you understand. It was hard for me to come to this decision, let alone tell you. Well, I'd like to contribute anyway. Oh, Mom and I are taking care of it. Are you 75th? I insist. You know, I would rather see you go back to your therapist. I'd like to see you go to a therapist. And I'm not the only one. Oh, really? Mm. Well, you can tell them all that I can't afford it. Well, it's not really your business anymore, whether I go or what. Who else is coming? Freddie DeNovi. Tony will love him. Who else? Dad, Tony isn't coming to the party. Why won't he come? Well, I felt that uh, since we're separated, we should get used to the idea of living separate lives. Oh, that's a crock of shit. You don't talk to her like that. This is very difficult I've for known her. the man for 20-something years. It's his house. How's it gonna look? I talked to Tony about it. He's in agreement with me. Because you put the screws to him. Fine, I'll cancel the party. Yeah, go right the head ahead, because I'm not coming if the man of the house isn't there. We had a big talk over here the other day, and the consensus seems to want your presence at my father's party. Well, that's nice, but it's kind of short notice now. Look, it's for my father, not me. I made plans to go fishing with Sil. Well, he really wants you there. If you could find a way to make it, I know he would be very happy. No, he's very fond of you. The New York Sausage, Hickory Wood, whatever. You're not using Artie? Yeah, I got him doing appetizers and salads, but uh, he's really there as a guest. I am cooking. Okay. Tomorrow's going to be a madhouse, just living hell. I don't know. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Mumbo's, the birthday boy's favorite. Where is he? He's out back. Oh, good. Honey, try to pace yourself. Hey, there he is. Happy birthday to you. Got sausage for you. <laughs> Tony, I want you to meet a couple of our oldest friends. Dr. Russ and Lena Fagoli. Nice to meet you, sir. My son-in-law? Well, whatever. Tony Soprano. Hey. A doctor in the house, huh? That's good, because somebody usually goes down at these things. He's just joking. <laughs> Unfortunately, my doctorate is in international affairs. Oh, from Princeton. She, I, Bill. So you're a doctor like uh, Kissinger's a doctor? Yes. Huh. Russ had an audience with four popes. Oh. What section did you all sit in? Oh, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd uh, love to stay in chat, but I got a fire to start. Nice to meet you, Doc. Nice to meet you. 